Have you ever wanted to play your old dusty Wii games on your super cool awesome computer, but dumb little discs don't fit? Well now you can! With the Dolphin Emulator, you can live your wildest fantasies and play new Super Ball Blasters Ultra Deluxe Plus Gamer Edition 2 to your heart's delight. Call the long number on the screen now to do <laughs> absolutely nothing because it's not an actual number. Oh, this is the dumbest thing I've ever made. <laughs> Hello my lovely people, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Dolphin Emulator, which is a piece of software that will make you able to run any Wii game on your PC. I'll show you how to install and configure it, as well as some places that you can download games from, although I may have to blur that part for fear of being struck into oblivion by Nintendo. So let's not delay, onward! Before we actually get to installing, the Dolphin website recommends that you have a processor with a minimum of 4 cores or more, as well as a dedicated graphics card. But if you have built-in graphics, it will probably still work, you will likely just get less performance. With that out of the way, open a browser and go to dolphinemu.org download. Find the latest beta build and click the download button that corresponds with your operating system. The reason we're installing the beta build instead of the stable version is that there are some features in the beta version that were only added after the latest 5.0 stable release, so this will help us to get the best performance out of it. As the website says, we also need the Visual C++ redistributable in order to be able to use Dolphin, so click on the blue link and scroll down until you find this table, where you can click on the link titled x64. Run the setup file that you just downloaded, accept the terms and conditions and hit install. You may also need to restart your computer for this to take effect. Now we need to extract the 7-zip file that we downloaded from the Dolphin website. To do this, you will need an archive program like WinRAR or 7-zip. Once it's extracted, just open the folder that was created and then run the file called dolphin.exe. Now that we've got Dolphin open, the first thing we're going to do is set up a folder for our games to go in. To do this, right click on the desktop and select New and Folder. I'm going to name mine Wii Games, but you can call it whatever you like. Then, back in Dolphin, double click on the text in the middle of the window. Navigate to the folder you just created, and click Select Folder. It may not seem like this did anything, but now, once we put a game into this folder, it will appear in the list here. Now, let's do the graphics configuration. Go into the graphics settings. The first option here is the backend, which is the renderer used to draw the games to the screen. For the best performance, I would recommend using DirectX 11 or 12, as Vulkan can be quite unstable. But if you find that your game is lagging, use one of the other options instead. Under Adapter, if you have an external graphics card like myself, set that as your adapter. Otherwise, just leave it as is. We'll leave the aspect ratio on Auto, but you can adjust it manually depending on what game you're playing or what look you're going for. Turn on VSync, as this will help to reduce screen tearing. Now, coming down to the shader compilation section, check Compile Shaders Before Starting, as this will help to reduce load times and generally improve performance. If you want the best quality, change the shaders to Exclusive Uber Shaders. This setting can be quite taxing on the GPU, so change it back if you experience any performance issues. Moving on to Enhancements. All of these settings can heavily impact the performance of your game, depending on the power of your processor and or graphics card, so you'll probably want to tweak these yourself. Personally, I set the internal resolution to 1440p, the anti-aliasing to 4 times MSAA, and the texture filtering to 2 times anisotropic. Again, your mileage may vary, so play around with these settings to see what works for you. That's all for our graphics configuration, now let's configure our remote. You can use any standard game controller with Dolphin, or even your keyboard if you're a masochist. However, if you want the best experience, a real Wiimote is best if you have one. If you're using any controller other than a Wiimote, then in the controller settings menu, select Emulated Wii Remote under the Wii Remote 1 dropdown, and hit Configure to bring up the mapper. If you're using a real Wiimote, 
then you can pair it to your computer via Bluetooth by opening the Bluetooth settings, entering pairing mode, and then pressing either the 1 and 2 buttons on the front of the Wii Remote at the same time, or pressing the red sync button on the inside of the battery cover. Once paired, just change the drop down from emulated to real Wii Remote, and you should be good to go. On a side note, sometimes your computer may ask you for a pin when connecting to a real Wiimote. The process for obtaining this pin is a little complicated, so I'll leave a link in the description and pin comment to the Weebrew wiki page on how to do so. Now it's time to download some games. I won't name the site or show any footage of it in the video, as I get the feeling Nintendo wouldn't like that very much. So I'll leave a link in the description and pin comment to the site that I use. When downloading games, there are three file formats that it may come in, WBFS, NKIT, or ISO. All three should work with Dolphin, so you don't need to convert anything. Just make sure that the file is in the games folder that we set up earlier. As well as this, Wii games can be quite big, so be prepared to wait when downloading them. Once you have your game downloaded, if you put it into the games folder, then it should show up automatically in the list of games. Although by default, you may notice that there is no thumbnail for the game. This will fix itself once you play the game once. Now, simply double click the game and it should fire straight up after compiling the shaders. Now you can play all your favourite Wii games without even having to leave your desk. How great is that? If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a lot. It only takes two seconds and it's completely free. Take that Netflix. Oh, and uh, here's another video I think you might quite enjoy. Uh, have fun, eat your vegetables, and uh, could you take out the trash before I get back? Thanks. Bye.